everyone welcome to my channel advice to think twice my name is monica and i'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting november 21st 2016. this is for aries sun moon and rising signs and as always keep in mind that these are just general readings and um i'll watch all your signs sun moon and rising because um that may give you um, a bigger picture as to what may be coming up for you in the week so aries your current situation or main focus this week we have the eight of pentacles so with the eight of pentacles you're really working hard on something some of you may have got gotten enrolled in some sort of training program or um, education to do with education or to do with further, furthering your career uh, developing your skills polishing your skills um, starting a new job okay and that comes with training and all of that um, this could also be working really really hard on a relationship okay perhaps with an earth sign a Taurus of Virgo or Capricorn um, or working really hard on yourself, okay, towards your goals when it comes to your health and well-being is what is coming up with the Eight of Pentacles here. Doing a lot of research, doing a lot of hard work, paying attention to the details and being very focused and very dedicated um, with whatever the situation is that you're focusing on. Your main opportunity for the week is the Seven of Pentacles. So your main opportunity is... Um, accomplishing a level of success, uh, but then more work to follow, but you definitely have the opportunity to um, enjoy the fruit of your labor this week to allow for things to come together. The main opportunity for you is also for some of you is to assess where you are, how you got here, if you're happy with the current situation, if you're happy with whatever this is that you're working on, um, paying attention to details and saying, okay, well, um, where is this headed? Do I have a future here? Am I going to get what I'm working towards? Okay, so for, for those of you, this could be uh, things going smoothly. And so you can afford to take some time to contemplate. You can afford to take some time to consider where you are and where things are going for you. And if you're happy, the Seven of Pentacles is also a card that talks about waiting for the harvest. So I feel like this week, the main opportunity for you is to give yourself the luxury of assessing where you are and if there's any changes that need to be made at this time. But you're really working hard on this and it's going to pay off for you with the Seven of Pentacles, absolutely, because you're very, very close to the harvest time. You're very close to getting the success you're, you're looking for, okay? Uh, or partial success with more work and more success to follow is also coming up. Your main challenge in the week is the Ace of Wands. So your main challenge with the Ace of Wands is um, to be patient, okay? So your main opportunity is to take things slow uh, and make sure you're doing everything right, okay? And work on whatever this is for you. Um, and then the main challenge is your impatience. Um, with the Ace of Wands, this is a lot of fire, a lot of energy, a lot of um, action-oriented thoughts, uh, wanting to get things done, wanting to get started with something. Uh, so the main challenge would be you're trying to get ahead of yourself at this time. Or there may be a tendency for you to want to skip some steps, okay, um, in the process of creating this outcome that you want to see. Um, and the Ace of Wands can also be um, kind of a hot temper this week, um, impatience, like I say, a bit of a short fuse, um, instability or volatility in, in attitude and thoughts. Uh, so it's just something to be mindful of. And... Um, for those of you, the challenge with these of Wands is actually um, using everything that you've learned to start something new or using whatever this is that you've learned to invest in a creative project. If you've been working on your financial situation to support yourself or your financial situation to support a creative project, that's coming up for you this week. Or if you were working really hard on a relationship, this is just saying take it slow. Um, if you're just getting started with this, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to go a million miles an hour overnight. Okay, you're not going to get married the next day. So take it slow, do everything that you're supposed to, and you're going to be headed in a really good direction. Your advice is the Queen of Cups. So with the Queen of Cups as advice, this could be a water sign that you're talking to, um, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And this card is telling you, you know, talk to this person, vent. Uh, to them, ask for their support. I feel like they have a very soothing energy, a very calming energy, and they can tell you um, genuine, uh, they can give you genuine advice. 
And the Queen of Cups is also a card that talks about doing self-reflection, contemplation, time. This is still calm waters. This is contemplating your options, really thinking things through and checking with your intuition um, before taking action. So this card is just telling you take a few deep breaths, focus um, on yourself for a little bit, take some time for prayer, meditation, to, to, for, for you to clear your head. Uh, and be able to see what the goal is and and to be able to stay on top of things um, and moving in the direction that you want to move in with the Queen of Cups. It's very calm energy, very soothing energy. And there's a wisdom here of knowing that things are going to be okay because your intuition is telling you that. So pay attention to your intuition this week. And in the outcome position, we do have the Ace of Cups. So with the Ace of Cups, this is definitely a new beginning that brings you a lot of um, fulfillment, a sense of fulfillment, deep sense of satisfaction um brand new emotional beginning so it could be for some of you that if you have been in um in search of a job and really contemplating your options and just wanting to be done with it but not giving up the ace of cups is saying you're gonna have that job and it's going to be your dream job okay it's going to bring you a lot of emotional satisfaction not just financial in relationships you are going to start this new relationship okay maybe with a water sign or Earth sign energy is in here as well, and fire as well. Fire could be your energy, though. So water signs of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, once again. But whatever um, the sign of the person is, it just talks about a beautiful new beginning and emotions, okay, with love, with friendship, with support for one another. So if you have been working on yourself towards manifesting a relationship, it's happening for you. This week, if you take the advice of the cards, um, for some of you, remember this, it's a general reading, so it's not going to apply to everyone. Um, in existing relationships, if you've been working really hard on your relationship and trying to overcome difficulty or uh, heated arguments or anything like that, um, and you've found a place of compassion and patience and love for each other again, the Ace of Cups is saying there's going to be a brand new beginning there. Um, for those of you, this could be manifesting your business at this time. Um, or moving, for some of you, is also coming up. Or pregnancy could also be in the cards if that's what you've been working towards and investing your time, energy, and resources into it. So overall, it looks like an awesome week. Okay, let me know how it goes for you. Let me know how these cards make sense, if they apply to you. And I hope you have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.